so now let us take a four variable function we have a four variable function two variables are a b c and d a b c d and this is the function f so what are the combinations of a b c d they can be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 so these are the combinations there are 16 combinations this these are total 16 combinations okay and assume the function is 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 and assume this is the particular function okay now because it is a four variable k map so four variable function for this the k map is going to have approximately 16 cells the k map is having 16 cells these are the total 16 cells okay now we have a b and c d now it matters where you are presenting a b and where you are presenting c d so let me make it let me make both the k maps side by side okay if i represent a b here and c d here and here i am representing c d here and a b here okay and the combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 this is 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 okay now if you take any cell for example i am taking this cell then this cell is representing 0 0 0 0 okay see in this function we are representing the function by the a b c d so here you can clearly see this is representing 0 this is representing 1 this is representing 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay and this function is having value 1 at 1 2 3 8 9 10 12 and 14 so therefore this function f can also be represented by f of a comma b comma c comma d it can also be represented by summation uh, 1 2 3 8 9 10 8 9 10 and 12 14 and 12 and 14 okay so see the position of a b and c d it matters you will see in a little while why it matters so because i have written a b here and c d here therefore this cell will be representing 0 0 0 0 this cell will be representing 0 0 0 1 this cell will be, will be representing 0 0 1 1 this cell will be representing 0 0 1 0 this cell is representing 0 1 0 0 this cell is representing 0 1 0 1 it is representing 0 1 1 1 it is representing 0 1 1 0 it is representing 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 okay so if you write the decimal value of this its value is 0 this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And here in this case, this cell is representing 0, 0, 0, 0. This is A, B, C and D. It is representing 0, 1, 0, 0. Why? Because A, B is this and C, D is this. This is representing 1 1 0 0 it is representing 1 0 0 0 
it is representing 0001 it is 0101 it is 1101 it is 1001 this one is 0011 this is 0111 1111 this is 1011 this is 0010 this is 0110 This is one 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 zero, and this is one zero one zero. Okay. Therefore, the values which can be there is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. So whenever you are making a K map, make sure that you take these values uh, how, whatever way you are taking these values either you are taking ab here and cd here or you are taking ab here and cd here the numbers they doesn't matter the numbers changes okay for this particular function we have the value 1 at 1 2 3 8 9 10 12 8 14 so 1 2 3 8 9 10 12 8 14 okay so uh, let me do one thing let me make one more k map under this which is representing this function okay okay so i can represent the bo function the k map like this okay this is ab this is cd This is zero 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 one one zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero. Okay. Now on this in this function the values one are one two three on one two and three one two three we have the value one one two three we have the value one as well as eight nine ten eight eight nine ten eight nine ten we have the value one as well as twelve and fourteen we have. 12 and 14 at these locations we have the value which is 1 okay now in this particular map k maps there are so many different subcubes which are possible and i tell you how we can make this subcubes so generally what happens is uh, in case of uh, subcubes we combine the subcubes if they have a change of exactly or uh, one variable right so therefore uh, in this case you can clearly see we can make this subcube why because they have a change of one variable for example this subcube is noting 0001 this subcube is noting 0010 we have a change of exactly one variable therefore we can combine them and we can make a subcube okay in the same way we can combine these two subcubes we can combine these two subcubes or these two cells to make a subcube Okay, see, we cannot combine these three to make a subcube. Why? Because the size of the subcube can be either two or four or eight or sixteen. Therefore, we can only have subcube of size two. We can combine these two cells to make a subcube because these two cells are having a change of only one variable. And in the same way, we can also combine these two cells, this cell and this cell. Why we can combine these two cells? You can clearly see if you take this cell. as well as this cell then zero is there one one is there zero is there and one zero is there they have a change of approximately one single variable therefore we can combine th that cell also in the same way if you clearly you can see we can combine this cell and this cell as well as we can combine this cell and this cell because they have a change of only one variable we can combine these two cells and also we can make a subcube of size 4 by combining these four and these four by combining these four and these four right so therefore see we want to make as big subcube as possible because uh, if we make smaller subcubes then we will not be able to minimize the number of literals in a term or in the same way see let me tell you a very simple example of this for example we have this particular subcube now this subcube is not a part of any other subcube therefore uh, there is there is something in the subcube which is not a part of any other subcube therefore it is a prime implicant as well as is essential prime implicant which we will discuss at later point of time you can uh, see what this subcube is representing this subcube is representing a complement b complement and d it is representing a complement b complement and d 
why it is representing d because c is changing but d is not changing as well as a, a and b they are not changing okay we can also make this particular subcube we can make this particular subcube and this subcube is representing a complement b complement and uh, c and c y because in this subcube d is changing but c is not changing right and in this subcube if you take this subcube in this subcube we have we have a b complement as well as c complement because d is changing so this this subcube is representing a b complement as well as c complement uh, c complement because d is changing but if you take this bigger subcube why you see this smaller subcubes uh, we want to make the subcube as big as possible and these uh, this bigger subcube is better as compared to making the smaller subcube this bigger subcube is better we could have made subcubes like this also we could have made subcube like this also but we will be taking this bigger subcube and this bigger subcube is now representing uh, it is now representing a is not changing so a is there as well as as well as uh, d is not changing therefore d complement is there okay see i'll be i'll tell you how why we are ignoring this and for this we have to study a concept of implicates what are implicates what are prime implicates and as well as what are essential prime implicates so after covering that part so you will be able to understand why we are not taking these smaller subcubes and why we are making the bigger subcube and in what manner we can make a bigger subcube okay so just this is just for example we are solving like this so this is a d complement so for the solution if you are looking for a solution equation for this particular k map then you can see we have a d complement a d complement which is covering this one this one this and this all these four we have a b complement c complement plus a b complement c complement plus we have this one it is represented by a complement b complement d plus we have this particular subcube it is represented by a complement b complement c a complement b complement c right we are not taking this one i'll tell you why we are not taking this one okay so this is one solution equation for this k map there can be more than one equation or because there can be more than one solution equation or minimized equation for a particular k map which is dependent on what are the number of implicates what are the number of prime implicates and what are the number of essential prime implicates if a sub particular subcube is covered by more than one cell then we can ignore it uh, we can take any one of them uh, we don't have to take all of them we'll discuss that okay so this is one solution this is one solution to this particular function to this particular function okay we'll discuss about this and we can also discuss on this particular case the only thing which will change is the position of ones right because this 2 and 3 are represented here this is 2 and 3 are represented here so it is just kind of we are uh, rotating this this we have rotated this k map to make that one okay okay so uh, fine so let let me take one more example here and let me elaborate everything in more detail now <coughs> 